Gaza. I want to go get some reaction out of southern Lebanon. We can speak to our correspondent Zaina Khoda there. Zaina, it's uh, interesting. We were talking about uh, this statement from the chief of staff of the Al Qassam Brigade, Mohammed Deef, who uh, also went on to say that he was he, he essentially was uh, making a call to arms uh, from all armed groups to join in this fight against Israel. I just wonder what kind of response uh, would there be from Lebanon to that? Well, so far there hasn't been any response, but there is no doubt this is a significant statement, a call to arms to uh, armed groups in Lebanon to join the fighting against Israel. It's really the first time you've, we've heard such a direct and public call, even though it is an established fact that Hamas does cooperate with the armed groups based in Lebanon, among them the Palestinian Islamic Jihad or Lebanon's Hezbollah. All these armed groups are part of what they call the axis of resistance, groups that are allied uh, with Iran. Now, an equation has already been established a while back, and that equation is the unifying of fronts. It is a message that has been given to Israel time and time again, that if you do uh, launch any sort of an attack or war on one front, other fronts will open. Now, we have to wait to see whether or not this call to arms is, is being used as a form of pressure on the Israelis to warn them uh, to stop uh, the attacks against Gaza or else expect um, a, a, wider, a wider conflict, a, a war from more than, more than one front. So, so far, no reaction from the groups that are in this country, as well as from the Lebanese authorities, because uh, there are Lebanese political players in this country who will criticize this and say that they do not want the country to be drawn in any uh, type of conflict. Zaina, as you say, uh, no official response, but if we are to hypothesize and other fronts do open up, how much, how, how significant would that be? How much pressure would that put uh, on Israel? Well, no doubt it will be pressure on Israel having to deal with, um, you know, fighters from, from more than one front because Hezbollah is quite a powerful force. The last time Israel and Hezbollah went to war, that was in 2006. But since then, the group has developed its arsenal. It has long uh, guided precision missiles that can hit the heart of Israeli cities. And it's not just that. Hezbollah has made clear time and time again the next war will not be fought in southern Lebanon, but the battlefield will be moved inside uh, northern Israel. So and Im they're implying that their fighters will cross into uh, Israeli territory. But again, this is going to be a very decision, a very difficult decision for Hezbollah to make because um, it will be costly. And at the same time, we've seen tensions uh, heighten along the, the border in, in recent months. But both Israel and Hezbollah have been very, very careful in order for it not to spill into all-out conflict, that the flare-up will not lead uh, to all-out conflict, that it will be confined and contained, and that both sides really have been sending political messages to each other. So we have to wait to see whether the call to arms this morning by Hamas is a political message or whether or not it will develop and we will see uh, rockets being fired from Lebanon into Israel. And time will tell. Thank you for that. Zaina Kodo there for us in Beirut. I want to go to Akiva Elder. He's a columnist 